how can you become better at trading? How can you actually make money in the stock market? A lot of people believe that it is not possible, that it is not possible to trade and make money. And there are people that do it, so therefore it is possible. The biggest challenge with the markets is that the market can do anything. You can read all the books in the world, you can have the best laid plans, but at the end of the day, the market can do whatever the market wants to do. If you buy something and you read all of these books and you're certain it's gonna go up and you're certain it's gonna work, the chances that it works, well, might be really good, but you might not make money, it might not work, you might actually lose money, and that's why trading is so hard, and that's why so many people give up or reject it, because in the real world, you know, in, in mathematics, you have a procedure, you follow it, and you know you get the right answer, whereas in the markets, you do the best you can, and you hope for the best, and you have some type of plan. So basically, these books will teach you how to execute a plan, how to find a good plan to execute, and how to manage your risk so that it can improve your chances of making money in something like the stock market. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these books. And they're all extremely famous and extremely well-known. And some of these are very, very new. Let's start with the most important book that you can buy. It's Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets by John J. Murphy. By the way, I will try to leave links in the description to all of these books. This by many people is considered to be, uh, quote, the Bible of technical analysis. John J. Murphy wrote another book prior to this one on the futures markets, and then he revised it later uh, to include uh, other information. Here it even says it, completely updated and expanded edition of John J. Murphy's best-selling classic, Technical Analysis of the Futures Markets. As a collector of math and science books and trading books, I actually do have the book on futures, but I thought, really, you only need one. So let me just show you the newer version, which is the one on stocks. Here's the inside of the book. By the way, I've had this book for 13 years. For exactly 13 years, I've owned this book. And I feel like it's got the best information. If you're looking for a book on technical analysis, this is it. By the way, before I show you the contents, let me just say, you know, people often bash technical analysis. They say that um, it doesn't really work. Uh, it, it's, it's nonsense. Again, the markets can do whatever they want. At any given point, you know, it can do whatever it wants. Every moment in the market is unique. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. There's no certainty. In life, there's certainty. In mathematics, there is certainty. In trading, there is not. So how can you become good at something where there's no guarantees? That is the challenge uh, in trading. So philosophy of technical analysis, it talks about the philosophy, the rationale, which again, could be interesting. It could help satisfy your curiosity if you're trying to become a believer in something like TA, okay? So here's some other topics. Dow theory, this is all very interesting stuff. I've read pretty much this entire book and I've read certain portions more than once. And I think it's one of those books that you buy and you continually read it. You continually improve yourself and try to get better at trading. Chart construction, talks about basic patterns and volume trend. Trend is huge, okay? Trend is something that uh, can really, really help you. Reversal patterns, some people try to catch those and get burned. Continuation patterns, volume and open interest. Now here's the pattern stuff. Long-term charts, very important to look at long-term charts. Moving averages. By the way, I should have some kind of disclaimer in this video. I usually don't make too many finance videos, but uh, you know, trade at your own risk. <laughs> so there's always like uh, all those finance channels always have like disclaimers and stuff on their on their videos. This is this is a wonderful book. This is like a textbook, by the way. Japanese candlesticks. This is what what I usually use. Elliott wave theory is pretty interesting too. Time cycles, money management. This is a very good, very important uh, chapter. You want to make sure you manage your money. You do not want to lose lots of money. Indicators. I used to use a lot of indicators. Um, I currently don't use too many indicators, but they are important. Putting it all together, building a trading system, and it talks about the author. So this book has pictures, and that's really important. You can see the patterns. You can see the trend lines. It talks a lot about trend. And by reading a book like this, you can educate yourself and learn the basics. Uh, here's a moving average, and they're using the moving average to trade. So a gold mine of information, a gold mine of information, and something that 
every trader needs. So if, if you are watching this video thinking, should I buy this book? Yes. Um, if you're going to buy any of the books, start with this one. This is the most important one. And it's easy to read. It's got like a big font. Uh, I just got to give it a whiff here. Ah, yeah. A huge fan of this book. I can't say enough good things about it. Next up is Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom. I know the title is super cheesy and super, I guess, what, clickbaity in some sense. And people know that and people have written reviews about this book and they've talked about that. You know, when you, when you see a book with this name, you think, oh yeah, really? This book is going to teach me how to trade my way to financial freedom? Yeah, right, right? So the book actually has really good advice. The biggest con of this book, in my opinion, personally, is that I already have a lot of experience trading, so a lot of the information in this book, to me, uh, was repetitious. But it's a fun read, and it gives you a, a, a different perspective on trading. So I do think it's a great complement to the previous book. Um, totally worth getting, and it's a very, very newer book. This is a much newer book, um, and it's a very popular book. Let me just briefly show you some of the contents. The Legend of the Holy Grail, Judgmental Biases, Setting Your Objectives. So it's a little bit more... Um, John J. Murphy's book, the previous book, is all about TA. This is, this is what you see. This is what you do. This one talks about you know, more on actual trading. Um, it's got some stuff on you know, thinking and trading psychology. It's a little bit different uh, or very different uh, than the previous book that I showed you. So still worth getting uh, in addition to the previous one. So again, this is not a book just on TA. It's got a lot of other things, right? Trading is an art that requires a lot of skills. Again, in the real world, we have rules. You see a stop sign, you stop. Um, you know, you, you follow the law. Uh, there, there's things that you do because there's rules in society. In the world of trading, it's like this open market. You can buy whenever you want. You can sell whenever you want. If you have money, you can buy as many shares as you can afford. So you always have like these infinite choices and it seems really easy, right? It seems really easy. If you have all this freedom, why can't you make money? Well, this helps you set some rules in your trading and should help improve uh, your trading game. It's Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom by Van K. Tharp. Next up is Trading Psychology 2.0 From Best Practices to Best Processes. This is by Brett N. Steenbarger. It's, it's really funny because I, I've seen some of this this guy's videos on YouTube. Uh, he doesn't really have a channel. I don't think he does, but I've seen videos of him on other channels and he's a very intelligent man. This man uh, is a, I guess, psychologist, but, or psychiatrist, right? He, he's an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Stony Brook in Syracuse, New York. He's written other books, which I, I don't have yet. And he's the author of some other things and he does consulting for like hedge, fund, hedge funds and proprietary trading funds. And he talks about the psychology of trading. This is a really fun book, and it can help you with your trading. Um, it can help you with your life. This, this, this is written by a, a very, very intelligent man who has years of experience in psychology and years of experience in trading. I'm pretty sure Brett has been trading since the late 70s. I mean, I think this man has been trading longer uh, than I've been alive. So lots of experience, lots of interesting ways to think about trading in life. This is for people who already have some experience trading. So you need to know TA, you need to know how to execute trades, you need to have some knowledge of risk management before you get this book. Or you can just get them all at once and just start learning. But honestly, I wish I would have gotten this book when I was starting. Here's a quick look at the contents so you can see what's in it. And it just, it doesn't really break it down like too precisely, uh, but it's, you can just open the book and start reading anywhere. Here we go, key takeaway. Our emotional state generally follows our physical state. Yeah, so you know, train your body, train your mind, right? It's little stuff like that. Um, he talks about the big picture. It's not just about like, ooh, this is the best setup. This is when you get in. This is your money. Man. No, it's about you know your state of mind, making the best possible decisions. Because if you make the possible decisions, if you make the best possible decisions in trading, in, in a field where you know you have ultimate freedom. If you make good decisions, then in theory. Uh, you should you should make money. So wonderful book on psychology. There's just so much information in here um, That I think is just worth knowing probably the first big book on trading psychology ever written This is an older book. It's called the disciplined trader Developing winning attitudes by Mark Douglas. It's funny because this book even used is still I mean, it's not, it's not pricey, but it's very close um, To what you pay for a new copy and again, I'll leave links in the description to all of these books So this is a book on trading discipline 
it basically gives you advice on how to control your emotions and how to be disciplined. Biggest con of this book is the repetition. Uh, Mark Douglas is a brilliant writer. It's a really fun read, but he does repeat himself. And at the same time, I think that's a pro. So he kind of like just really jams in certain ideas and principles over and over uh, in the book. Here's a quick look at the contents. And he has another book, which I'm going to show you, which I think is better than this one. So in a minute, I'm going to show you that one, which uh, I think is, is much, much better. And here's some other content here, how to become a disciplined trader. So an older book, I believe this was written in, let's just take a look here, uh, when, when, the, when the copyright was. 1990, I'm going to give it a whiff here. Ah, nice, nice book. And it's just going to help you with your trading psychology. It's just going to talk about fear, uh, emotions, uh, how to make a plan, um, why you can't stick to your plan, things you can do. Uh, and here's, here's Mark right here. Now, this book is not going to have uh, technical analysis in it. It's not going to show you like when to buy, when to sell. So it's not like the book by John J. Murphy. So this is for people who already have experience trading. So if you've been trading for a while, worth picking up. And if you're new to trading, worth picking up. But again, you really want to trade before you buy this book. So it's, it's, a, it's really a book for people who are trading or have traded in the past and are trying to improve their skills. And I've saved the best for last. This is trading in the zone. And again, biggest con of this book, in my opinion, is the repetition. I've read almost this entire book, probably 80% of the book, and I've read certain chapters more than once. Extremely eye-opening. Um, the key points of this book, you know, there's a couple, couple key points uh, that Mark tries to kind of really hammer in. One is to um, realize that the market can do anything, uh, embrace risk, accept the risk. Uh, those are key things uh, that you should take away from this book and don't be reckless. So key, key, key things that the book tries to hammer into your mind. And very repetitious, but very good. This is, out of all of the books I have, this is probably the one that's the most fun to read. Like you can sit down and read this book and like you'll really enjoy it. And that's why I've read certain portions uh, more than once. Although I do like the technical analysis book that I showed you at the very beginning. That's also really fun to read because it's got like practical advice that you can actually use in, in the stock market. So yeah, wonderful book. I think everyone should read this. I think it can help everyone who has traded in the past. But again, it's not going to have like those entry points and exit points. It's all about psychology and, and really what it says here, master the market with confidence, discipline, and a winning attitude. There you have it. Some incredible books on trading that you can use to elevate your skills and become better. Trading is super hard. Again, these books aren't going to like make you a, a millionaire. I'm not saying if you get these books, you're going to do amazing it's just something you can use to educate yourself, to grow, to learn, and become better at trading stocks, futures, options, whatever it is you're trading, this can help you and this can help you get better. Um, I think all of these books are amazing. If I had to pick two books, so if, if I had to pick two, because I know these books are expensive and they cost me, I mean, I bought a lot of these new. If I had to pick two books here, I would say Trading in the Zone uh, is worth reading despite his repetitious nature on some of the points. I think that the things that this book talks about are, I'm getting goosebumps, extremely important for trading and they will help you get better. And also, also this one here, uh, this one is gonna help you as well. And experience, that's something that you can't get from any of these books. A lot of times people will start trading and they'll start paper trading. Um, but when you're actually doing trading with your own money and you have that, that, that fear of loss and all of those emotions come into play, um, that's when things change and that's really when you really want to educate yourself so you can become better at what you're doing. But yeah, great books and I will leave links in the description to all of these books. Side note, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses on my website, uh, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, um, but please use the links from my website or from the description of any of my videos. I don't have any finance courses yet. I do know a lot about finance. I've been trading uh, for over a decade. Uh, I just don't usually talk too much about it. I try to keep most of the content here. Um, you know, it's too mathematics, but every once in a while I'll make a trading video because it's something I like. I I'm into trading. Um, you can use math for trading. Uh, is math going to make you rich trading? No, I should make a video on that. Now how you can actually use math for trading because there's so many ways 
you can use mathematics to help you in your trading. You know, being good at math does help you uh, better at trading. And I should talk about that in another video. If you found any value in this content, feel free to click subscribe. I appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. If you take away anything from this video, it's that the markets, you know, they can do anything. Trading is very difficult. It's not like mathematics in the sense where, you know, you have a math problem, you solve it, you get the answer. Not the same for trading, right? Trading, you, you, you make a plan, you execute, and then you, you have a, a target, you know, uh, for how much profit you're going to make, and you also have an exit plan. But there's no guarantees, right? There's no guarantees. And that's why I think that a lot of really smart people, they fail at trading because they're used to the real world where you have these rules that you can follow and, and improve at. But in the market, it doesn't work that way, right? It doesn't work that way. You can't just buy these books and make money. No, no, no. It takes practice. And like any skill, um, you can get better at it. So hopefully uh, you can get better at your trading. Until next time, be safe. Good luck.